What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be completing the look of the gas gas. I just converted the KTM over to a gas gas. It was really easy actually, if you didn't watch last week's video, it was just plastics in a gas tank and it basically is a gas gas. A lot of you guys were commenting that the gas gas does use the Husky swing arm. I'm either gonna pick one of those up later down the road or just run the current one, honestly. To me, it's a minor detail and like I said in the last video, I just wanted this bike to kind of be another bike in my lineup that I could take to the hills or to the track or whatever and just have this bike set up for one specific uh, type of riding but to complete the look today i'm going to be putting on these moto cuts graphics uh these guys printed these things up just a couple days ago i'm really excited to uh, see how they look and also this is the first set that they've printed up so excited to give them some feedback let them know how they fit and uh yeah so we'll uh we'll see how those look and then also thrill seeker sent me out a new seat cover um the gas gas kind of signature look is the all red usually it's a red frame uh, all red plastics and then of course the red seat that comes stock so i think what i'm going to do first is put the graphics on and then kind of go from there if it looks cool with the current seat which it might maybe i'll just kind of hang that seat over the current one and uh, see how it looks and if it looks good we'll go for it if not then I'll leave the black one but either way at some point I will be running the all red thrill seeker seat cover stoked for those guys to hook me up with that um, I got a lot of comments asking about like what exactly this entails to convert um, obviously you need to have a newer KTM and everything else was simple it's just a gas tank plastics where you guys can find the gas tank and the plastics is your guess is as good as mine um, at this point I have no idea but um, the reason that I was able to get my hands on some is because of the brand of Master deal that I just did with Troy Designs Gas Gas team and they kind of handed me over some leftover plastics and tanks so stoked about that. Also two other details about the bike that I didn't mention in the last video were that obviously I took my frame guards off. The reason for that was because the right side usually hooks in on the KTM, it usually hooks in like around here. And obviously with a different shape of the plastics, it's not gonna work anymore. So I kind of dig the way it looks bare anyways. There's already a lot of carbon fiber going on in this bike. So, you know, without that little bit, it's fine. The other thing that I didn't mention is the air box. Usually these air boxes are white. You can see I painted mine. The white's kind of coming through right there. I just didn't want to have kind of that much white popping out in the back. So the other part of the gas gas that you might need to order is these air box pieces. Um, that's kind of the inside one and then this is the one that kind of links up to the back fender so this one would be actually the one that shows in there if that makes sense um but yeah that that stuff uh was also sent to me i didn't put it on just because my stuff's already black but if you're gonna nitpick that's one other part that you need um if you're interested in doing the conversion maybe you just leave it white i don't know how that would look probably it wouldn't look too bad because it is a neutral color yeah i just thought i'd mention that but uh anyways i'm gonna go ahead and set this camera up on a tripod and do a little time lapse putting on graphics right now and then i'll check with you guys in a minute and we'll kind of decide how it looks with the seat Right, so here it is with the black seat um, really really dig into the graphics I like how they're pretty plain and leave a lot of the red everything fit really well uh, I have some good stuff to report back to moto cuts that their template is uh, pretty on spot um, everything lines up good colors look good I think I'm gonna leave the black seat cover here I'll put the camera down and show you what it looks like with the red one it doesn't show up on camera well I guess it kind of does it's it's just a different color red and I don't know I'm not crazy about the way that looks I don't know maybe you guys can leave some comments and let me know what you think maybe we'll order a little bit darker red or I don't know it's just the the contrast between the two reds is kind of bugging me so I think for now we'll just leave it black I really like the way that looks I kind of wish I had a red stripe on the seat right here but 
all in all it looks really good i'm um, stoked on the way it turned out and i think it's pretty much complete i mean obviously i'm me taking delivery of my actual gas gas is soon but i figured why not just have this as I think I'm gonna make this my hills bike since the suspension's already kind of out for that. But um, but that's gonna do it for this week's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are digging the way this thing looks. I know I am. The next couple weeks, I uh, should have some pretty cool stuff lined up. So definitely take you guys along for the ride. And uh, hopefully we'll be riding soon too because I haven't really ridden since I broke my thumb and uh, had surgery on it. So I'd like to go take this thing out, hit some ramps, hit some hill jumps, and uh, obviously take you guys along with me. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching. If you don't already subscribe, like, and uh, tell your friends about the videos. All right, later. I'm so high.